Please. Hold on, I got a little gasp. Oh, <laughs> well, no, come on. That was a good one. Uh, on we didn't hear it. It was good. It was good. We didn't hear Chris, it. Back me up, right, buddy? Yeah, that was nice. Yeah, Chris we did felt not it. hear it. We didn't the hear air it. Air moved. Hey, Alex. Yeah. Okay, you're a mess. Sorry. I know. All right, you're aware of that. Fine. Yeah. Let me t- let me tell you a couple of things. Uh, one is, you cannot judge yourself or live your life by how attractive you are to men. I know that's all you feel you have right now. It's like uh, you're a black comic with no material, and all you can do is, what if the president was black? That's what you feel like. I'm saying you're better than that. You got more than that. You're actually, you're funny, you're talented. You don't have to do all that horrible material. You got more range than that. You can study. You can get involved with things at school. You can have female friends. You don't have to compete about being alluring to men. Because that's going to be a major issue for you, and it's going to bring you down. And you're going to get pregnant in eight months or a year. And everything's going to be a mess, and you're attracted to horrible guys, and you're going to get your heart broken. This is something that you're not prepared to dabble in. Oh, you think you're big time because, oh, you were 12 and you had a 19-year-old boyfriend. Oh, no. The only reason I went out with him is because I was scared, and he was like, if you don't say yes, I would kill you or something. Here's the point. you did not say that, but that's interesting. uh, Whatever. You heard. Here's here's the point. Uh, stop it. Stop it. Focus on other things. And well, don't I get tried, pregnant. But I can't. All right. Well, then don't get pregnant. Then, then, because now, then you got to get mental health or help. Can you get some help? If you no. cannot. If okay. You cannot. All right. Then listen, listen. Forget everything. Don't get pregnant. I'm not going to. I know right. you're not going to. You you and every other ball of white trash no. from Arizona is 15 and having sex with adults I'm, doesn't I'm plan still, on getting no, pregnant. No, I'm still a virgin. Oh, good. good. That's my girl. That's huge. All right. I'm going to need to, um, I'm going to need you. You know what I'm going to need? Yeah. I'm going to need you to send me a picture of your hymen with a current newspaper with the, uh, with the date on the newspaper visible once a month. And a dime for scale. And and a t- you what? <laughs> dime for scale. <laughs> yeah, I wonder how big it is. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, like, I like when they do that. I like when they put change next to the. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a uh, <laughs> as if you're looking. You're looking at a hearing aid. What is that? The size of a Buick? No, you idiot. Look, there's a nickel next to it. <laughs> I don't know. That thing could be a huge hearing aid. That you could need a forklift in order to get that into your house. No, no, no. Look, there's a piece of change there. We got to come up with something better and change. Yes, yeah, yeah. fruit doesn't ready. work because it moves. <laughs> I I like golf balls. Oh, that's good. Uh, all right, here's the thing, Alex. Good, you're virgin. Don't get pregnant and don't trust your instincts with these guys. And, and I don't think there's anything we yeah, can tell you, her. Drew you literally cannot control these behaviors. You must get help. That's right. it. Very simple. Or go to twelve step meeting if you want. Codependency right. meeting, that sort of thing. Drew, I'm mm-hmm. going to officially say that dime for scale. Yeah, funniest thing you've said in four years. Thank you. Oh, I feel I'm moved. It's nice. And but and, and Drew, ah. you know we talk about the yes and yes and that is a great example right okay. there. Good. Well, so you by the way, now that you explain to me what that works, I'm trying to pay attention. Yeah, I didn't, rest, I didn't understand the concept until you explained it to me a couple nights ago. The uh, the telephone and the VCR, not great example. Not good. Okay, yeah. yeah but the dime thinking. for scale, yeah, solid. Excellent. All right, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back. Hey, y'all, Loveline. I'm Adam. That's Dr. Drew in New York City tonight. Jeff Probst from Survivor, dear, dear, dear friend, will be in here tomorrow night. Phone number 1-800-LOVE-191. Drew? Yep. <clears throat> Interesting. Um, consistent, not surprising, but yet disappointing news on the joke front. What's that? Well, I told the uh, engineer Chris, uh, Drew made a funny last break, and and it, it's not often that Drew makes a funny. About yep. the best Drew does in the comedy department is uh, pile on a little bit. Right, he, right. I, I'll, I'll tell you what you would be. You would be like the... Uh, <clears throat> the crappy player on the football team who jumps on the pile at the end. Right. I'm, I'm not making the, the stop. <clears throat> and oftentimes, when jumping on the pile on the end, puts his knee into the groin of someone who uh, actually made the tackle. Right. But what Drew did uh, five minutes ago on this show 
was equivalent to uh, Ronnie Lott just Good coming up. Uh, they had uh, they thrown a screen. They thrown mm-hmm. a screen. Drew had sussed it out. Had a full head of steam. Sidestepped a pulling guard and just flattened the guy because the pass was a little high like and uh, just just created a human spear. Put Love his that. head right right between the guy's numbers, right in the So sternum. satisfying. And just and did that move too where you don't even hit the ground. He stretched out a little for the ball. You put your helmet right in the sternum and as you actually hit, you actually slide over him on the turf. He's on his back. You slide right on his front and right back on your feet. Crowd going insane. Here's the comedy. My impulse is to pile on with my own little description of what I would want to do to the guy without adding anything to your story. Yeah, don't do it, buddy. <laughs> I, 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 a, I hold my tongue. I'll hold that my was tongue. a good kill. That was a I know, clean but I, hit. But I can't. I can't stop myself. Quiet. Now here's what happened. I uh, spoke to our last listener. Uh, told her uh, I was surprised she was a virgin and wanted to see a uh, picture of her uh, hymen with a uh, current newspaper date displayed next to it uh, each month, just to make sure she was uh, remaining a virgin. And Drew said, uh, and throwing a dime for scale. Uh, I <laughs> so during the commercial, I said to Andrew Chris, "Well, that was a good one. Uh, that was a good one, Drew made, huh?" And he's like, "Yeah, it was funny." And I, and I started to take a, a step toward the drinking fountain, Drew, and I stopped and I said, "You know what dime for scale means, Chris?" And he said, "No." no. <laughs> so Drew, little too hip for the room. Oh no! No, I, I li- literally, but I literally mean, uh, put put one in there. I mean, I, I I would, you know, little too hip for the room. No, okay. that's all I'm saying. Uh, Chris, dime for scale. We there? Still not there? Are we are there? What do you y- think? Y- you have a, can you can you guess what that joke means? Well, the, the size. The size. All yeah. right. There it's we scale, go. Yeah. yeah, break it down. Break it down. Break it down, Chris. I'm telling you to break right? it down. You, you got it right, so break it down, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. All right. There you go. All right. I'm going Florida. I'm going Germany. Ooh. What is it, Eric? It is the Berlin Zoo in Germany. Oh, wow, yeah. Drew. Oh, yeah. Hold on. Let's all just take a moment here. Drew, first off, joke. joke. And let me explain what just happened with that Germany and Florida. <laughs> Your joke was you coming up, sussing out the screen, and just uh, fourth and one, and just putting the helmet in the sternum of the uh, yeah. fullback. That I, I went that. up under his face mask, the helmet right there on the neck. You know right, I mean? right, right, right. You know, let me tell you what this Germany or Florida was for you. Mm-hmm. A more uh, this was a finesse play. Yeah. This was a uh, third and seven. They're on the thirty-three. They're driving. And let, let me stop for a second. And I'm, uh, every other time we huddled, you're going, "You're such a pussy. You just follow on. You just follow on me. Yeah. Whatever I do, you follow right. what I do." Right. This is uh, this is Terrell Owens split out wide. This is Drew going out with him one on one. Mm-hmm. He's uh, he's not in the bump and run. He's playing off him a good five, six yards. Terrell starts down the field. Drew backpedals, creating a buffer. Buffer, uh-huh. buffer. Uh-huh. Yeah. Turns. Terrell cuts sharp on the uh, seven-yard marker on, at the flag, trying to pick Blow up the up. first down. Turns out. Drew takes two more back steps, then comes up, closes the window. Full speed. Strong, Full speed. strong spiral thrown to the sideline. Drew steps right in front of it and is down the sideline. Not oh. not not a sound made. Oh, no contact. It. No nothing. Just little, no, actually, the little, window. little tip on the ball. Little tip before I catch it. Look, little, little chip, chip on forward. Terrell's yeah. shoulder. Yeah. And then pow, close the window right down the sideline. That's what go. that was, my man. Yeah, I'm telling you. Uh, that's what that was. Wow. Eric, you had another on question. Roll. Drew, don't talk anymore. <laughs> Here's what I'm saying. <laughs> go sit on the bench. You're done. You're not going to have a better game. You're right. That's it. All right, let's... Um, hey Adam, she, Susan, is my wife, has sat here patiently watching this entire program tonight. Really? Isn't that wild? She she, she came down to the studio with you? Yeah, isn't that crazy? Why Why, why would she do that? I know. I think why? She, she's I, she's becoming an Adam Carolla fan. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. She just it was into that late night thing you did. And she was on the her, other foot now, isn't it, Drew? And she was laughing a little bit. It was a little more of an audience here to have tonight. There was some actually laughing and smiling and stuff that you say. Well, she was there on your, possibly your greatest night ever. Yes. <laughs> well, she didn't, that part didn't seem to register. <laughs> she doesn't. Uh, Susan, if you're listening, please understand that uh, this is uh, Drew making a joke. Uh, you you uh, hear uh, less than uh, Haley's Comet, really. <laughs> I mean, this is monumental. See, now she's laughing. She wasn't laughing at the joke. 
that I told, she's laughing at you making fun of me. No, she doesn't doesn't understand. She doesn't understand. Not only did he get a Germany or Florida. By the way, Drew goes with. I I don't even know if Drew's ever gotten a Germany or Florida that I haven't decided was either Germany or Florida beforehand. And and I don't think I've ever. I've ever come up with a Germany. I I would tend to go to Germany. He was right. He uh, went with the uh, dime for scale joke. Do you know what I meant when I said hysterical? Susan, when I said dime for scale, do you know what I meant? Uh-huh. When I said dime for oh oh, when I said yeah, dime for scale, I, he, we're talking about a hymen and sure, is he getting a picture of the hymen with newspapers. So we know the date that the hymen's being. And I said, put All it right. down. True, you okay, explained no. it to her on the no. very long cab okay. ride back okay. to the hotel. <laughs> so, Where are you yeah. staying, by the way, Drew? Uh, the Morgan Hotel, like Thirty Seventh and Madison. Ooh, That's all nice. right. Oh, good times, and it's uh, almost three in the morning out there, right? Yeah, yeah. Wow, that is a devoted wife. Yes, that is a good woman. She must want something. See, see, see those works? See those work? You 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 make nice to him. Tell him much what a fan you are. Look look at told, new good Adam. woman. Do, That's see? a keeper. See, true, true. Yeah. Remember what we talked about before with Susan? Forget it. Forget <laughs> it. She's a keeper. You understand? <laughs> what? I'm not saying what we talked about. I'm just saying. <laughs> Whatever we talk, remember we had that talk? Forget it. Just forget what I said. Forgot. That is a good woman. You hang on to her with both hands. All right? Got it. All right.